Welcome to the Lazy But Smart Singhala podcast. Learn to speak good enough Singhala with the minimum needed effort. <sighs> Hey everyone, welcome to session two of the Lazy But Smart Singular podcast. My name is Dilshan and uh, in this session we will do our first audio tutorial on the topic of greetings and responses in Singhala. Now for those of you who have already watched my video tutorials on YouTube on this exact same topic, know that this is not just uh, the audio track of the clip that I have extracted. No, I have redone it from scratch to make it more audio friendly. And if you've already watched the video tutorials, then consider this a simple and effortless kind of way of refreshing your mind on what you learned. Now, for the rest of you who haven't seen the tutorials and have no idea what I'm talking about, no worries, just sit back, enjoy your first taste of the Sinhala language, and uh, what better way to start your Singhala learning than to uh, learn how to greet someone in Singhala. Just to point out, I've done this tutorial almost like a casual conversation, almost as if I was explaining it to you over a cup of coffee or tea, depending on what you fancy. I myself am a coffee person. I'm going off point now. Time and again, I will be introducing what I uh, proudly like to call the lazy but smart Singhala tips. And each time before I give such a tip, I'll indicate it to you by the following sound. Got it? So make sure you pay attention every time you hear it. At the end of this session, I'll give you a link to the show notes page where you'll find a summary of all the important phrases and the words that we used in this session. And obviously, you're going to have a couple of questions for me about what we've discussed here. So, on this same page, at the bottom of it, you'll find a comment section where you can leave every question that you have, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Right, that's enough. Let's go to the audio tutorial now, and just before we end the session, I'll just pop back in, and we'll have a quick chat, and uh, we'll end it from there. Enjoy. Greetings and responses in Singhala. Now folks, since this is our first tutorial together, I'm going to keep it very simple. What I've done is I've divided this session into four sections. Maybe I'll first give you the four sections before we go deeper into each of them. Section one will be basic personal pronouns. Personal pronouns, as I'm sure you know, these are words like I, you, he, and she. In section 2, I'll show you a typical informal greeting in Singhala. In section 3, I'll show you how to respond to such a greeting. And in section 4, the final section, I'll show you a traditional formal greeting in Singhala. And that's it for this tutorial. Easy peasy. Section 1, Basic Personal Pronouns. In this section, we're just going to look at four personal pronouns. And those are the Singhala equivalents for the words I, you, he, and she. Okay, so let's start with I. The singular word for I is mama. Mama. It sounds like mama, but with a closed m at the end. So it's mama. Mama. The next pronoun is you. And by you, I mean the informal you. Meaning the you that you would use when you're speaking to someone familiar to you. And that word in Singhala is Oya. Oya. Oya can be used on a friend, a family member, or someone near your age. But in fact, you could also use Oya in an informal context on a stranger. Let's say, for example, you're shopping. You could speak to the seller by saying Oya. Let's say you're in the back of a taxi or a tuk tuk. You could speak to the driver using Oya. Or if you're at the hotel and you want something from one of the hotel staff, you could use Oya. There's no problem with that. And Oya is the version of you that you'll be using most often, which is why in this tutorial series, whenever I mention you, 
I'm always talking about the informal you. We will cover the different types of you in future tutorials, but for this one, this is all you need to know. Now, let's go to the next ones, which are he and she. Now, here's the great news. In Singhala, we just have one word to describe both he and she, and that word is air. Air. It's like oya with a different beginning. So it's not oya, it's air. Let's quickly summarize the four personal pronouns. I is mama. Informal you is oya. And he or she is air. That's it. Section 2. Typical informal greeting. In Singhala, when you greet someone in an informal context, you typically would ask, how are you? If we take the sentence, how are you, the last word, you, this you already know, which is, oya. So now let's look at the word for how. And that word is, kohomada. Kohomada. You don't need to worry about memorizing this word right away because I will be using it very often and you're going to remember it automatically. But just a point about its uh, pronunciation perhaps. Try to avoid using a hard D. So it's not kohoma de, it's kohoma de, a soft D. And another mistake that some people make is to say kohoma de. It's not an open ma, it's a closed ma. So it's kohoma de. In order to ask how are you in saying hello, we just join these two words oya and kohomada to say oya kohomada. Oya kohomada. Now you may have noticed that the word a is implied in this sentence and we have ignored it completely. Now it's very common in spoken Singhala where words like a, am, and is, basically the variants of the verb to be are ignored in spoken Singhala because they are implied. So if you take the example of Oya Kohomada, it literally reads you how. And we've ignored the word a because it's implied. You don't need to worry about this too much. I just pointed it out in case you were wondering what happened to the word a. Now, going back to Oya Kohomada, the nice thing is we can now replace Oya with the personal pronouns that we saw before. So let's take the personal pronoun er, which means he or she. If we wanted to ask, how is he or how is she, we just replace oya with er and ask, ea kohomada. Ea kohomada. And we can even go one step further now and replace er with the name of someone. For example, let's take uh, the name Ricky. And imagine that you wanted to ask, how is Ricky? All you do is you now replace the word air with Ricky. And you ask, Ricky Kohomada. Which means, how is Ricky? We could also replace Oya with uh, Mama, for example, and ask Mama Kohomada. Just for the sake of an example, I'll do it. But I can't think of many instances when you will be asking, how am I? But just know that grammatically this sentence makes perfect sense. Mama kohomada, how am I? Here's another tip that should make you happy. We just now saw that to ask how are you, we ask oya kohomada. But in spoken Singhala, you can also just drop the oya and just ask kohomada from someone. And it is understood that you mean oya kohomada because obviously you're speaking to the guy in front of you. So, there are two ways now that you can greet someone. One is the easy way, which is to ask Oya Kohomada. And the second is the super easy way, which is to just ask Kohomada. Let's go to section 3 now. Section 3. Responding to an informal greeting. Now you're going to learn how to respond when someone asks you Kohomada or Oya Kohomada. The equivalent sentence we're going to create now is I am fine. You already know that I in Singhala is mama. And you also saw from the previous section that words like are, am and is are implied. So all we need to know is the word for fine. 
from the sentence I am fine. Now the singular word for fine is made up of two words. It's a bit long but you should be able to remember it with time. The words are Honding in Nava. Honding in Nava. It means being fine or being well. Honding in Nava. So to say I am fine, like before, we're just going to join the words together to say Mama Honding in Nava. Mama Honding in Nava. And yes, the word am is implied here and we're not using it. So literally, this reads I fine. Like we did in section 1, we can now replace mama with the other personal pronouns that we saw and say Oya hunding in nava, which means you are fine, or Ea hunding in nava, which means he or she is fine. And if we bring back our friend Ricky, we can say Ricky hunding in nava, which means Ricky is fine. In spoken Sinhala, when you're asked Kohomada or Oya Kohomada, instead of saying Mama Honding Innava, you could also just say Honding Innava by dropping the Mama because it is understood that when you're saying Honding Innava, you're speaking about yourself. You know how sometimes in English when someone asks you, How are you? rather than saying, I am fine, the full sentence, you might just say, Fine. This is the same thing in Sinhala. You just say Hunding Innava instead of saying Mama Hunding Innava. So now we have two ways of responding to an informal greeting. One is the easy way, which is to say Mama Hunding Innava, or the super easy way, which is just to say Hunding Innava. And for our final section, this is the traditional formal greeting in Sinhala. And that is just one word, and the word is Are you bo one? Are you bo one? Are you bo one? This is actually ancient Sinhala. It's not necessary to know, but just for your information, it means may your lifespan be long, which is a beautiful way to greet someone. And the correct response when someone greets you with Are you bo one is also Are you bo one? So you're wishing each other a long life, essentially. Now, Ayubowan is not something that you would use very often in day-to-day -day life. For example, I can't think of a moment when I have uh, greeted a friend of mine by saying Ayubowan. It's something very formal. But however, in sort of touristic kind of areas, like, a, like in a hotel or when you're boarding Sri Lankan Airlines, there'll be a stewardess with a big smile saying Ayubowan. At least it would be nice for you to respond with are you born, so that's why perhaps it's important for you to know it. Now before we end this tutorial, let's quickly go through a simulated dialogue between you and me, okay? Imagine you meet me somewhere on the street. How you would greet me is by asking Kohomada or Oya Kohomada. And I would say Hunding Innoa or Mama Hunding Innoa. Imagine you and I were taking the flight together. There's a stewardess, she's smiling, and she greets you with the traditional formal greeting in Sinhala, which is, Are you bo one? And how will you respond? Are you bo one? Now for some quick questions. Tell me, what does this word mean? Mama. I. Ea. He or she. Oya. Informal you. How would you greet a friend, a family member, or someone your age? I'll give you a clue. There are two ways. There's the easy way and there's the super easy way. Let's start with the easy way. Oya kohomada. And now the super easy way. Kohomada. And how would you respond to kohomada? Once again, there's the 
easy way and the super easy way. Start with the easy way. Mama hunding in nava. And the super easy way. Hunding in nava. And your final question. Translate the following sentences into English. Ea kohumad. How is he or how is she? Ea hunding in nava. He or she is fine. All right, let's do a quick recap of this session. We first started off by looking at some basic personal pronouns in section 1, and we learned that the word for I is mama, informal you is oya, informal you is used typically on a friend, a family member, or someone near your age, but in an informal context, you could also use it on a stranger. And we also learned the word for he or she is air. And in section 2, we learned a typical informal greeting, which is the equivalent of asking, How are you? And this was, Oya kohomade. Instead of, Oya kohomade, we could also just ask, Kohomade. We then took, Oya kohomade, and replaced Oya with the word, Ea, which means he or she, in order to ask, Ea kohomade, which means, How is he or she? We then went one step further and replaced Ea with the name of a person and asked Riki Kohomade, which means, how is Riki? In section 3, we learned how to respond when someone asks us Kohomade or Oya Kohomade. And this was to give the equivalent of I am fine, which in Sinhala is Mama Hunde Nginnawa. We then learned that instead of Mama Hunde Nginnawa, we could also just say Hunde Nginnawa. We then took Mama Hunding in Nava and replaced Mama with some of the other personal pronouns that we saw, and we said Oya Hunding in Nava, which means you are fine, or Ea Hunding in Nava, which means he or she is fine, or Riki Hunding in Nava, which means Riki is fine. And in the last section, we learnt the traditional formal greeting in Sinhala, which is Are you Bowan? For which the correct response is also, are you born? Awesome! We've done our first audio tutorial together. I told you it'll be easy. Well, as promised in the intro, here's the link to the show notes page. Go to www.lazybutsmartsinghala.com forward slash session 2. That's S-E-S-S-I-O-N and the number 2. You'll find a summary of all the singular phrases and the words we mentioned during this session. And uh, don't forget to post your questions at the bottom of this page and I'll answer them with pleasure. Hope you enjoyed the first tutorial. My name is Dilshan. Take care and I'll talk to you on session three. That was the Lazy But Smart Sinhala podcast. www.lazybutsmartsinhala.com Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>